Kia ora Koto, welcome back to the One Take, the official podcast of the One New Zealand Warriors. And if it sounds a bit busy in here, if it sounds like there's a bit of, dare I say, no, I'm not going to say magic in the air, bit of energy in the air, it's because we are here at Lord Alfred's uh, in Brisbane for a very special episode. Benny, we're excited, mate. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like you said, the atmosphere is building. Fair few Warriors fans here, plenty of kit on show. So, yeah, yeah an, an exciting day ahead. We went to, this is our third attempt at recording because we uh, just got interrupted by the great Jason Death. So there's, there's royalty in the building, mate. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Campo, Tooks, the works. So yeah. th- those are the best people to get interrupted by. We're going to, uh, you guys will hear, so Benny goes one-on-one with the great Mark Tukey and Kevin Campion in this episode. But um, I do have to make an apology before we get going. You were a late call up to Magic Ground because we oh. completely forgot about you, and I am sorry. Nah, <laughs> but good. you got on the plane, mate, and you got it. Yeah, off the bench, Palacina, <laughs> just straight up the guts. Um, <laughs> had to be at the airport at three thirty this morning. Yeah. So she was a rough start, but look, there's not many people I'd do it for, mate. But but you're one oh, of them, and the mighty Wiles, of course. So, that yeah. was it. Was a tough carry. We were sitting there yesterday, sort of planning out um, what the couple of days are going to look like mm. for a Warriors fan, and um, Logan's, <laughs> Logan just goes, um, "Why isn't Benny here?" And we all kind of looked at each other. It was like when you accidentally leave one of your kids at the mall or something and yeah, you're playing out of the Home Alone vibes, eh? Hey. Home Alone. Rough. And I even thought about it when you messaged me and you're like, oh, enjoy the weekend, mate. And I was like, why has Ben not coming? <laughs> so not thankfully yeah. to the powers that be, we got you here, mate. But um, we will talk a bit of footy, obviously, throughout this. And like we said, Benny goes one-on-one with some a lot more interesting people than me. But oh. we are here. We're playing the Panthers. It is Magic Round. Let's talk a little bit about the concept in general because yeah. for those who aren't here... It's a special place to be Brisbane this weekend, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I think last year was my first one, and I loved it. That's it's, when I'm, that's when we met. Yeah, Bob, that's right? when yeah. we met. Yeah, uh, at the Caxton, of course, a great establishment. But it's a romantic how we met story, oh, really. It is. It really Poke is. Your room at the Caxton. One to tell the kids about one day, but <laughs> no, it's just so cool seeing all the fans of different teams. They're all in their kit. Everyone's so passionate, and there's a real good vibe, real good mood around the place. You know, yeah. everyone gives each other a little bit of banter, but it's all real respectful, and yeah, everyone's just fully into it. So I it's know, awesome. Mate. Well, look, we're not gonna we're not gonna bore you guys too long you don't want to hear from Benny and me we'll get some royalty in here so without further ado guys for a very special episode we have a couple of very special guests Ben Searle one-on-one with the great Mark Tukey Joined by the legend himself, of course, ex-warrior Mark Tukey. Unreal to see you here, mate. I think it was actually this time last year we were downstairs at a similar event. So tell us a bit about this. This is a regular Magic Ground type of thing for Warriors fans. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Ruin Hammer invited me uh, a couple of years ago now, and I've been doing it ever since. Yeah. Um, uh, we, we've, we, we've been downstairs the last couple of times, but it's always good for the uh, old boys to um, meet the new fans and mm. the old fans, and they enjoy catching up with us who they, we, they watched us a long time ago yeah. so uh, it's always good fun absolutely and you mentioned the old boys there do you guys get to catch up much or are events like this really special for you guys too to see some familiar faces some old teammates yeah it's funny you say that um, when the Warriors were based up there at Redcliffe uh, they really um, got us involved especially the Australian base guys um, myself Campo Clinton Tupi's around as well so um, yeah we used to we did a bit of catching up up there yeah. Um, but yeah these events are predominantly uh, and we also catch up with the current team when they play here in Brisbane awesome. or the Titans on the Gold Coast so yeah. um, the, the Warriors do a really good job of uh, including the old boys and Jerry Seal Seal over in, over in New Zealand's uh, really driving the new the old boys um, club and some our past and present players so it's really good. Oh that's awesome to hear and speaking of the current players obviously this year we've got off to a pretty good start so as a former player yourself what have you thought of the team's performances so far just in general? Yeah no mate, they're a different team uh, we've, I've been asked this a lot yeah um, they're a different team um, I had a I had the opportunity to go to the captain's run yesterday mm-hmm. they invited us to the captain's run, I've been, I've, I've met the players a fair bit now. Sean yeah. Johnson and the guys. We went to lunch with them as well at their hotel. Awesome. Um, and mate, they're a happy group. Mm. The, uh, Webby has really got them buzzing. They're full of life. They like enjoying each other's company. Um, I think uh, the COVID kind of situation really put them under pressure. Yeah. Uh, and they were they were just in a bit of a lull, being in each other's pocket all the yeah. time. Yeah. Um, you can just see them. They are so happy and and just really having really good time. And it's showing in their footy. You know, they're um, they're working for each other. They're energised and they're really uh, playing some good footy. Yeah, awesome. We've got a few fan questions that have come through, so we'll yep. start with the first one. And that was, do you have like a favourite memory or a moment in the Warriors jersey from your time playing? Oh, it has to be the grand final. Yeah. Um, well, that 2 season was, uh, we, we just played some really good footy. Uh, we, we won the JJ Gilton and Shield, which was the team that finished on top of the table. Yeah. Um, and we just um, kept kicking goals and we 
it was a really, really good group of blokes that we all just love playing for. And um, when we beat uh, Cronulla in the preliminary final to go into the final, yeah. um, just the, the huckers in the grandstand, yeah. um, the thousands of people back at Auckland Airport, yeah. um, just all those things were just absolute memories. And then the grand final was a bit of a blur. Um, the experience was great. Uh, we never got the chocolates, but... The, just to be the first Warriors team to go and play in a grand final was just something special. Yeah, people often say like those grand final games that kind of all just unfolds in front of you. You don't even know what's going on and then no. it's only the next couple of days after where you're like, did that even happen? Was yeah, that what well, it was like for you? Probably the next month. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, yeah. We, we had a really good uh, celebration after it yeah. uh, for a week or so. Yeah, fair enough. Um, we, I think we had um, Simply Red uh, was back at the, the stadium oh, uh, wow. when we went there for a concert. Um, so... Yeah, we, um, we, the whole game, yeah, it was a blur. It happened so fast. Yeah. Um, you don't do much training. It's all media, all yeah. hype. Um, so, yeah, the, I, I, didn't re, I didn't watch the game till probably a month after the actual grand yeah, final. Yeah, wow. And then I only just then remembered that I took the first carry of the game. They kicked <laughs> crazy. off me. Crazy, yeah. And I'm just like, well, I didn't get knocked out or anything. It was no, just no. the whole blur. You yeah, know? adrenaline, crazy. right? Crazy. Yeah. That's unreal. And then an underrated, or I guess a teammate that you enjoyed spending the most time with? Oh, mate, I spent a lot of time with Justin Morgan. He was yeah. my roomie. Yeah. Um, so I really enjoyed that time. He was a golfer as well. He was my Euchre partner. He was, uh, yeah, so we spent a lot of time together. Um, both me and him were front row. So, you know, we had a, there was a rivalry for the position, mm. but we had a really good um, um, mateship. And um, we, 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 there was no animosity between us whatsoever. And I think that was the, um, the key to our whole pack. We had a young pack. Yeah. We had Jerry Siosu and all those. Ali Lautiti. So um, we were just a really all good mates. But Morgs was uh, underestimated. He was a very hard worker and um, you know, a really good mate of mine. That's awesome. Well, cheers for jumping on, too, because we really appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of the day and the game, of course. And Absolutely. yeah, hopefully we'll catch up soon for a couple cold ones. No Go problem, well. mate. Love it. Thank you. Legend. Cheers. Thanks. Not here, not here. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. It is hard to hear. Obviously, the atmosphere is building. Plenty of Warriors fans here at the moment. But great to be joined by the legend, Kevin Campion. Kevin, how special are weekends like this? Magic Round, the place fills up with Warriors fans. It's probably quite a rare sight here in Brisbane. It is. I think, um, you know, the, the Warriors fans travel from everywhere. I've spoken to a few people today they've come over from New Zealand so yeah. it's just been a great build up to the magic round it started about a month ago we started the launch um, we launched off on Thursday night as well uh, last night was a great night yeah um, you know the two games were, were, were fantastic and uh, tonight uh, today's going to be special yeah obviously you've played some time at the Warriors but also the Broncos is it special to go to Suncorp and be able to watch both your teams go about on the yeah. on the same weekend well, you know, both both teams are in the top eight, uh, which is great. The Bronx are going well, but the Warriors are going really well. They're consistent. They're probably the most consistent side out of the top eight sides, um, and they're they're travelling well. What I like, what I love about them, they're um, you know they're playing really hard for each other, and it's it's great to see. Absolutely, and we we're just speaking to Mark Tuki about it, then just saying how cool it must be for you guys as well to all catch up. You know, you're all proud ex Warriors players and. Tooks was saying that the club has actually been really good in keeping you guys involved yeah. whenever they're over here. I think that's a big thing for Webby, you know, trying to keep the old boys in, uh, get them in at any time. So we're always welcome. There's, uh, you know, years gone by, it, it hasn't been, hasn't had a feeling like this. Um, probably the last, um, you know, before before COVID, I think, um, you know, we were welcome, but you, you never got that sort of inv invitation uh, to come and, and meet the players and and hang around like we got invited to uh, we went for the captain's run yesterday myself and Tooks and uh, Clinton Tupi yeah, as well and uh, they invited us back for, for lunch at the at the where they're staying at the Pullman and yeah it was great look it's great it's great to see the boys enjoying themselves they enjoy they really enjoy each other's company it's low, and I like being around it because that's what you miss. You, you miss the banter, you know. It's good, it's good sledge. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I was actually going to ask what you miss the most about playing. You've answered it there, but do you kind of see any similarities in terms of how close the, the team was now to sides you were involved in in the past? Or is that quite rare to, to oh, have look, boys yeah, that look, close? I, I, you know, that, that was a special side we had in 2001, 2002. Yeah, absolutely. Um, they were young kids sort of growing. 2001 was a, was a hard year. Mm. Um, you know, just, you know, that they got to learn what the NRL um, expectation was. 2002, they just blossomed, uh, those boys, and um, you really saw 
some special um, players come through. Glenn Tupi, Ali Lartini, yeah. obviously Stacey, um, you know, Owen Goodenbeal, Logan Swan, Jerry C. So you can name, you know, it's very hard to very hard to compare anyone against yeah, yeah. those sides, you know. Uh, absolutely. And I'll just ask you this to finish up. Obviously, Tooks is here, Jason Death, but if you could invite one ex-teammate of yours to come along, catch up and have a pre-game beer with, who would it be? Uh, mate, I would say Nathan Woods. Yeah. He was just a, he was a comedian. Um, he should be on, on the stage. <laughs> yeah. He kept the boys, um, you know, amused. Every time he walked through that door of training, uh, it was just... It was just, uh, one, you know, 110% he yeah. gave. And, um, we were, yeah, look, I miss him because he's, uh, he was one of the funniest blokes I've ever met. Awesome. Well, cheers for your time, Campo. We really appreciate it. You're a popular man here, so we'll let you go and, and shake some hands. But enjoy yeah, the yeah. afternoon and enjoy Magic Round. Thanks, guys. Go the Warriors. Up the Waz. And swipe back into the boys. I know it's disappointing to see and hear me after that, but how was that, mate? Chat right. to the legends? Yeah, yeah, good fun, eh? They've always got some good stories, and it's just cool to hear about, especially that 2002 side, how yeah. successful they were and, and kind of the similarities they see building at the club at the moment. So as a fan to hear that, it's pretty special. And look, as fans, it's going to be something you can hear a lot more of because the fans are building. We apologise for the audience, well, but we're at the Lord Alfred. It's a Warriors fan day. It's game day. Benny and I are going to go and um, have a few sherbets, have absolutely. a few waters. Why not? And, um, and hopefully see the dub. So thank you guys tuning in next week. And yeah, Ben and Sully and I are going to go rip in a little bit, mate. Yeah, up the wires. Up let's, the wires. let's wet the whistle. Eh? Yeah, let's wet the whistle.